Hello and welcome to Project 5, LDR Line Following Robot using Easy Circuit Designer and Easy Core Chart. Start off by opening up Easy Circuit Designer and create a new project by going to File and then New. And call the project Line Follower and then click OK. First of all, we'll scroll through the Circuit Groups menu. So we find the LDR or light dependent resistor icon. We now click that icon and then click on the A0 pin to place it. We now want to rename our LDR by right clicking on the label, selecting rename and calling it light sensor. And then hitting the enter key on the keyboard. We now want to place our motor drivers by scrolling back up through the circuit groups menu by selecting motor driver. We'll now click on the pins B4, A7, A6, and B5. We now want to rename some of these drivers by right clicking on motor 1 forward, selecting rename, and calling it motor 1 underscore forward, and then hitting the enter key. We also want to rename motor 2 forward by right clicking on motor 2 forward, selecting rename and calling up motor 2 underscore forward then hitting the enter key. We can now send a design to core chart by clicking on the send to core chart icon Core chart will automatically generate a test subroutine that will test the motors. To run this, make sure that the USB P programmer is connected to both the computer and the ELAB 16M controller board, and the battery pack is also connected and switched on. And then simply click on the Send Program to Chip button. Click OK when prompted to save. Call the program Line Follower, and then click the Save button. Easy Core Chart will now download the program to the chip. And you can run the program by pushing the push button switch on the controller board. And then both motors should turn on and move in a forward and in a reverse direction and then turn off. Now the motors have been tested and are working, we can move on to testing our light dependent resistor by firstly deleting our motor driver test subroutine by clicking on the icon and then clicking delete and then OK when asked to confirm. We'll start off by clicking on Inputs in the Icons menu, then clicking on Analog Conversion, and then finally clicking on the black arrow below Start Main to place it in our program. We'll now double click on the Analog Conversion icon to bring up its options, and under Source we will select Light Sensor, and we'll leave Result as the destination, and then click OK. We'll now select Outputs in the Icons menu, and then on off pin, and then place it by clicking the black arrow below the analog conversion. And again, double click on the icon to bring up its options, selecting D7 yellow LED, and then off, and clicking OK. We now select outputs again, click on on off pin, and place it below icon 3 by clicking the black arrow. Double click on the icon to bring up its options and select D7 yellow LED as on and then click OK. We now need, want to insert a decision so we'll select decision from the icons menu and in the first box we will select light sensor and leave the second as off and then place it below icon 2 by clicking the black arrow. We now want another decision so again selecting decision again light sensor but this time we'll select on in the second box and place this below icon 4. Finally we want to select a go to by clicking go to in the icons menu and it should already have a go to property of start and then place it at the end of the program. This completes our test program for the LDR. We can now send it to the chip by clicking the send program to chip button and then OK when prompted to save. 
When the program has been successfully downloaded, push the push button switch on the controller board to start the program, and then the yellow LED on the controller board will turn either on or off, depending on the amount of light that the LDR is exposed to. Now that the LDR and the motors have been proven to be working and tested, we can move on to creating our main program by selecting outputs, clicking on on off, pin, and then placing one below icon 4 by clicking the black arrow. Double click to bring up its options and select motor 2 forward and then select off. We'll select outputs again and then on off pin once again and place this icon below icon 7 by clicking, by clicking the top of the second column. Double click on this icon to bring up its options and select motor 1 forward and then off and then click OK. We now want to edit some of the icons we've already placed like icon 4 so we now have to double click on this icon to bring up its options again and change the destination to motor 1 forward and change it to on and then click OK. We also want to edit icon 7's options by opening up its options, selecting motor 2 forward and on, and then clicking OK. We now want to create a group for some of these on-off pins icons, so we'll click on icon 4, and then while holding shift, we'll click on icon 5, and then finally click on the group icon in the icons menu, and we will name this group Turn Left. And then click on the Create New Group button. Now I've created that group. We can return to our main program by double clicking on the first icon. We now create another group from the remaining two on off pin icons by selecting icon 6. And then while holding the Shift key, click on icon 7. And then clicking Group in the icons menu and we'll name this group Turn Right and then click Create New Group icon. We can now return to our main program and once again double clicking on the first icon and this completes our line following robot program. Again simply push on the Send Program to Chip button. OK we've prompted to save and the program we sent to the chip once it's successfully downloaded, push the push button switch on the controller board to start the program and the robot should try and follow the line by turning either motor 1 or motor 2 on or off according to the value read in by the LDR. This completes project 5.